Welcome back DIYers. Today's little video is going to have us changing out this old door handle and deadbolt with a new, more modern looking set that also matches our overhead porch light and our garage light. Now in my case, when I go to replace this, two out of the three holes I need are already drilled. For this particular handset, there's a third hole down here that needs to be drilled. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. So first, let's take this old doorknob and deadbolt off so we can put the new one on. So to remove the old doorknob and deadbolt, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the four screws that are holding the two on, and you've got it taken apart. We're going to leave these old latches in for right now until I get the third hole drilled, and we're ready to put in the new set. That way it kind of holds the door shut. Now, the new door handle set comes with everything you need. Comes with the template for the holes to drill. Comes with a full set of instructions. All the deadbolts, hardware, screws, and everything you're going to need to put it in. This one is re-keyable. It comes with a little lever that you need to do that. The only thing you need to supply are the screwdrivers to put it together. It even comes with its own Allen wrench to get the handles back on. First thing I'm going to do is get this template put on the door because I've got to get this third hole down here drilled so that this part here will fit. So let's go get this set up. Okay, I got my template laid out and I did it a couple different ways to kind of get it close. I have to, you have to measure what your offset is and mine's two and three eighths from the edge of the door to the center of the hole was two and three eighths. So basically I had my wife on the other side shine a light through and I lined up the hole for the two and three eighths and taped it in place. And then what I do is I just took my fingernail and cut the edge of the paper right along there to see if I was dead on. And I was off just a hair, so I rearranged it. And now I've got it all set where I want. So now what I need to do is you need to make a mark on this center hole down here. This is for two and three quarters. This is two and three eighths. So with this being all aligned, I'm just gonna take my scratch all, put it in the center, and mark it. Now, this is adjustable. This particular set is adjustable, so I've got from here to here to make an adjustment. The biggest thing I need to do is just make sure I'm dead straight in. And I'm gonna drill a pilot hole just with a 1 8 inch drill bit, and then I'll come back behind and drill with the 7 16 that they recommend. Surprised I didn't hit wood, because there's wood up here. My shot stopped short and hit styrofoam. Now I'm going to go through and punch through to the other side and be careful, make sure I'm good and straight and level. Now when I drill my 7 16 bit, I'm only going to go through this side and then I'm going to go on around on the other side and drill through this way. It looks pretty close to level. So next thing I want to take the deadbolt assembly out. Remove these two screws wiggle and out it comes. Next what I need to do is set the new system to is it two and three eighths or two and three quarter. And I can just do that by this here and seeing if these two holes match up. So with the deadbolt extended they tell you to hold it to the edge here. If this hole is in the center then you're good to go and I am. So to show that I am versus I'm not I take it out to the two and three quarter, you can see I'm way past the center. So I'll move it back and you just slide this clip over, it latches right there. Got the deadbolt end situated, put the cap over it, screw in the two supplied screws. That's set. Now we take out the bottom. The thing to remember here is this latch, that curved part, goes towards the outside of the house. We'll see if it's the same on the new one. We'll get the new one and find out. This one goes back in the same way the other one come out. This slant here faces the direction that the door closes. And I've already got this set to two and three eighths, just like the top is, so I don't need to adjust it. Screw it in with the supplied screws. Nice and flush. Now let's finish doing the deadbolt. Okay, with the deadbolt, this is the inside part of it comes with this little cover that needs to be on there, like so. This part here will go through the D-ring of this right here. And then this goes in the very bottom of this here. 
like that. And before you put it in, you want to make sure your latch is straight up and down. Now, just put in the screws supplied. These I'm going to start by hand to make sure they're going before I hook the drill up to it. And just like that, we got a deadbolt. Okay, let's do the bottom one. Okay, moment of truth. Now they had me drill, and I double checked the 7 16 inch hole here. Why, I don't know. I guess so I had plenty of room to jiggle, but um, it should go. Now you see this half moon shape here? You gotta make sure it lines up with the half moon shape in here. There's that. Get this up, and then it goes. Comes with a, a bushing, if you will, and a long screw. I'll just get it kind of snug until I get this part here in. With the supplied Allen wrench, you gotta take this handle off, and then this needs to slide in there. Again, you got that half moon that you have to line up inside here, just like that. With the supplied screws, put it together. Again, I'll hand start these. And make sure everything's square and lined up. There we go. Now I'm going to paint the outside of this door, but I wanted to get this installed because I had to drill that hole. So if I did any scratches, I wanted it to scratch before I did the finished door. So when I go to put this back on after the door's painted, I'll get a level and make sure these are all good and straight. And now we just need to put our handle on, tighten it up with the Allen wrench, and there we go. Now this has a cap that goes on it, but I'm going to wait and put that on like I say when the door's all finished. Only thing left to do is change out these strike plates. This plate was very easy. Just take it out and put it back in the same way. Now this one for the deadbolt is different. Mine has four holes and this has two. So you might have to drill pilot holes. We'll see. And you can tell it's got me putting way longer screws in than what these were. I'm going to have to mortise a little more out to get that to fit. So after checking, this hole is great. So all I need to do is line this hole up with the one that's already in the door. And you can see, I don't need to take much. So I'll get a pencil, outline that, and get my chisel and take it out. I mean, I could do like that, but I'd rather do this because it gives me more meat to grab a hold of with the new screws. That way I'm not interfering with the old screws and gonna strip anything out. This chisel is very sharp. I do not want to cut my weather stripping. Fits right in there. Now, it's not completely flush, but yet there's enough gap in that door I don't need to be. And these bigger holes are for the longer screws, and that's supposed to go towards the jam, which is this direction. So I think I'll drill a little pilot hole, and we'll sink these. I got these works centering drill bits, work real nice. I'm gonna do the smaller holes first, and actually get the screws put in those, and then I'll come back and do the bigger holes. And I'll show you why here in a second. Now, it wanted me to put these little bitty screws in, but I'm gonna, I got extras, so I'm gonna use these longer ones. It's probably over just a hair. Let's see if the door shuts okay. Now, we'll drill these bigger ones. The centering bit I used here is way too small for this, so I get it in the center. So I've got this one, and basically I'm just gonna tap it and get a point and then use the other one to drill the hole a little deeper. Okay, drive home these long ones. Nice and flush. All right, let's test the door out. Works beautifully. There you have it. Nice, easy DIY friendly project. You get knocked out in a couple hours. Most important thing, makes the missus happy. It's always important. Two, gives your door a nice new upgrade. Hope you enjoyed this video. It inspires you to do the same on your house. And until next time, happy DIY.